Hey guys, it's Katie. I just wanted to stop by real quick and put together a little tutorial um, on how to create your own coping skills box. Um, I know I've posted about ours before um, with our Queen of Sass, who is currently eight um, and came to us with a lot of anxiety um, and some pretty severe tantruming. Um, huge improvements since she came to us um, over two years ago. But one of the things that has worked really well for her is her coping skills box. First thing you're gonna need to do to make your own coping skills box for your kiddos is to find you know, an extra box around the house. We specifically used a shoe box, but it can really be anything that's big enough to you know, fit in some activities into. Um, so we went ahead and took that box and had the Queen of Sass go ahead and decorate it and paint it. Um, just so it felt a little bit more like hers and a little bit more personalized. Then what we did is we started to find coping skills to actually put in the box. Um, and a coping skill can really be anything that's going to help your kiddo get from a place of, you know, anxiety or stress um, or anger or frustration back to a neutral, feeling good headspace. Um, so the first thing we added into ours were some arts and craftsy type items. So we did some coloring books, some construction paper, um, a little painting set. We also went ahead and obviously put some coloring utensils in there, pencils, markers, pens, crayons, that type of stuff. Um, we also ended up adding in a little diary notebook and a pen for that as well um, that she could use if she wanted to kind of get something off her chest but she maybe wasn't ready to talk about it yet so that's been a great resource for her as well um, the next thing we did is we went ahead and added in some kind of more sensory items so stuff like you know putty um, squishies fidgety type toys um, a worry stone stuff like that so she can be you know doing something with her hands when she is feeling stressed or worried or angry. We have found that these items, specifically the putty, um, has worked really well for her during school time um, and homework time. She tends to get overwhelmed um, while learning. So it's been great to be able to have her have that and keep herself grounded while she's learning um, without having something that causes any sort of distractions for her or classmates. Um, so after those couple of things, the next thing we went ahead and put in there were basically just some cards with coping skill ideas on them, um, which we, you know, developed with our in-home therapy team. So for example, one of them is the ABCs, which is basically you look around the room and you find something that starts with an A, and then you find something that starts with a B and a C, so forth until you get um, through the whole alphabet. Another one that, you know, our queen of sass really loves is ice cream jello. Um, if you're not familiar with that, basically you say ice cream and the kiddo moves really, really slow. And then you see jello and they move really, really fast and try to make their bodies like jello and all wiggly. I mean, you basically just go back and forth between the two until they're feeling better. That's been a, that's been a really big hit in our house for sure. The next and final thing we put into her coping skills box was a coping skills bingo game. Um, we don't generally use this in the moment, but it's a really great way to practice coping skills. So that way, when situations arise that we do need to use our coping skills, um, you know, she's used to different options and, you know, is prepared to use them. Um, so basically coping skills bingo is you have a bunch of coping skills that you guys come up with, that your therapy team comes up with, that you find on the internet, really wherever. Um, and you make bingo boards out of them. So you'll have, you know, four or five, six different boards, all with the same coping skills, but in different orders. You then take those coping skills you used and print them out basically onto flashcards. Um, and you basically pick a flashcard and you know, let's say it says Jell-O ice cream. Everyone does Jell-O ice cream. They find that on their board and they put a little piece of construction paper on that spot. And basically you play and practice until somebody gets bingo. Thank you guys so much. I hope that this coping skills box works as well for you as it has for us. Um, I'm also gonna put some resources up on the website um, to help with, you know, instructions on how to create it as well as some printouts um, for stuff like coping skills and coping skill ideas. Um, I will talk to you guys soon and have a great day.